Good day everyone, this is Mary Rosie Garcia, a secondary nursing student from Section Wedding Bank. So for today's video, I'm going to perform rectal and sedation demonstration. Rectal suppositories are used primarily for their local action such as laxatives and rectal softeners. Systemic effects are also achieved with rectal suppositories. So important to ensure that suppositories are placed past the internal anal sphincter and against the rectal mucosa. We have to assess the rectal area for any alternations in integrity. Assess recent laboratory values, particularly the patient's WBC and platelet counts. Patients who are thrombocytopenic and neutropenic should not receive rectal suppositories. Assess relevant body systems for the particular medication being administered. Assess the patient for allergies. Verify patient's name, dose, route, and time of administration. Assess the patient's knowledge of medication and procedure. Assess the patient's ability to cooperate with the procedure. Number one is to instill the medication directly to the rectal area to provide means for rectal evaluations to obtain desired therapeutic effect. For the equipment, we need suppositories, um, water-soluble lubricant, clean gloves, and medication card. Step number one, gather equipment. Check medication order against the original physician's order according to agency policy. Clarify any inconsistencies and check the patient's chart for allergies. Comparison helps to identify errors that may have occurred when orders were transcribed. The physician's order is the legal record of medication orders for each agency. Step number two. Note the actions, special nursing considerations, and safe dose ranges, purpose of administration, and adverse effects of the medication to be administered. Consider the appropriateness of the medication for this patient. This knowledge aids the nurse in evaluating the therapeutic effect of the medication in relation to the patient's disorder and can also be used to educate the patient about the medication. Step number three. Place medication on a tray or move the medication cart outside of the patient's room or prepare for administration in the medication area. Organization facilitates error-free administration and saves time. Step number four, transport medications to the patient's bedside carefully and keep the medications inside at all times. Careful handling and close observation prevent accidental or deliberate disarrangement of medications. Step number five, identify the patient by checking the name or identification band or ask the patient to state his or her name. This ensures that the patient receives the right medication and help prevent errors. Step number six, explain procedure to the patient. This could help to gain cooperation and to ally anxiety. Step number seven, perform hand hygiene and wear gloves to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Step number 8. Assist the patient to his or her left side in a sims position. Drape accordingly to only expose the buttocks. This allows for easy access to anal area and the left side decreases chance of exposure of the suppository. Proper draping maintains privacy. Step number 9. Remove the suppository from its wrapper. Apply lubricant 
to the rounded end and lubricate the index finger of your dominant hand. Lubricant reduces friction on administration and increases patient's comfort. Step number 10. Separate the buttocks with your non-dominant hand. Okay, Mace, please do it slowly through your mouth because I'm going to insert the suppository. Step number 11. Using the index finger, insert the suppository round and first along the rectal wall for about 3 inches to 4 inches. Suppository must make contact with the rectal mucosa for absorption to occur. Step number 12. Use toilet tissue to clean any stool or lubricant from around the anus. Release the buttocks and encourage the patient to remain on his or her side for at least 5 minutes and retain the suppository for an appropriate amount of time for the specific medication. Please remain in that uh, position for at least 5 minutes and then I'm going to retain the suppository inside of your Okay, Step number 13. Perform hand hygiene. Hand hygiene deters the spread of microorganisms. Step number 14. Assist the patient to a comfortable position. This ensures the patient comfort. Step number 15. Evaluate patient's response to the procedure and medication. The patient needs to be evaluated for any adverse effects from the medication or procedure. patient cooperates with a rectal or suppository installation. Desired therapeutic effect is obtained. Parents know adverse effects including allergy response, systemic effect, or injury.